Hey everyone, welcome back uh, to my channel. So in the last video, uh, we saw the uh, end output of GitHub Readme Creator, how it looks like. So in this video, we'll try to build it uh, from scratch and uh, see what shape it can take. So today I'm targeting the index page and so let's see how far we can go. So currently I'm in the uh, YouTube uh, directory, just to any folder you wanted to go to there and just create uh, create next tab, okay? So I will create next uh, app name, you know, create me creator and uh, what do you want to go with TypeScript for now, no, I'll go with JavaScript and uh, ESLint as well, no, Tailwind CSS, yes I need then source once I don't want to go app routing no then import analysis at the rate okay fine so while we wait uh, creating I mean this project is being created what uh, I would like to add is before that I'll be adding the uh, uh, data sample data and also the SVGs and uh, the language translation files as well so first so the project is created so let me go to that uh, folder that is with me creator so and I'll open in the VS code okay fine so yeah so as I said you know before going what I'll do is like uh, there is some prerequisite data that I should have so I'll just add that so that is uh, you know uh, here so this data is having the translations to the languages which i will be adding and also this svgs these all svgs are needed uh, so i'll add here th this one in the uh, public folder of our project we just created now so this is where i added and also the locals file so locals also uh, i will add in the public uh, folder itself so this is where we should use i'll tell you later uh, eventually why i added local food in the public card directory fine so we're good now here so and uh, i'll open terminal and let's run it and see what it initially looks like we have not made any changes okay so it's running on 3000 local host port so i'll open here okay so if i refresh this yeah so this is the initial uh, uh, project which we have created without making any changes okay now so what we'll do is i will directly go to the uh, index page and remove this uh, uh, by default provided content so for now i'll just add uh, just one header saying that it is a home page so that we'll see if the changes are uh reflected okay so i'll say this as a home page and also there will be default styles added i don't want that so i'll remove this you know, body and the media and those related style content so now you see yeah so we are done so what we'll do is we'll try to go ahead and start designing the index page so here mainly what uh we'll be needing is the nav bar and the main content section and image and also the footer okay so for that what i'll do is like i'll create a two i mean first i'll create one div okay and give some background color as you know something bg gray light gray color okay and here i will create two divs one is for the all uh, now content uh, main content and the image and one is for the footer okay i'll name this uh, i'm give for now i'll make this as relative because a lot of the uh, divs inside this has to be absolute because that's the way we want that image or the icon to sit at particular position so we'll make this device relative and overflow i'll make sure it's hidden so that we'll not see any scroll bar okay this thing this is all for the main content another div for the footer okay so now this i'll make some uh, background color or something like gray okay fine so now i uh, will dig into the uh, first step. so there what and all we need is first i'll try to add the uh, right side uh, svg icon that is dots related icon which i showcased in the previous video so i'll create one div for that and the styling i'll make this as you know absolute and also inset in a uh, the y direction i mean top and bottom will make it a zero and then 
heightful and uh, beautiful and all yeah so that's pretty much for the css and area label i'll just name so that we'll follow little standards here okay i'll make this as a true and uh, fine so once we're done uh, creating that div and inside i'll create one more div with uh, styling as relative and height full and here i'll add the svg icon that is dot related stuff so that i have uh, made a note here so i'll just take it from here so that i mean you guys can refer the uh, code base i'll keep in the letter point I mean. so this is what svg i will be needing so this is that dot section so for now we will not be seeing any uh, difference in the output screen once we add the another div you will see the changes okay so that is done for the svgs and this div is for the nav section i mean that logo and the title read me create a section so i will make uh, the styling is relative and padding top as 6 and padding bottom some some number random number 16 and if it's a small screen i'll make padding bottom as little more that is 24 right and inside one more day last name uh, i'll make sure this uh, width doesn't exceed the uh, 7xl and uh, margin x as auto so that will lie in the center part of the screen and padding x direction is a 4 and if it's a small i'll make little extra padding is 6 fine so that was then now i will add semantic tag now this is where again some styling for this uh, just make it as a relative and make it as a flex and uh, items as center in the y direction and also next direction i'll make sure this is justified between so that the parts will be towards the left and right part of the screen okay and if it's a small i'll make this as the height as a 10 and if it's a medium screen the just if I can it, I'll make it as a center. Okay, fine. And uh, that was the thing. In this, now we'll try to add the logo and the title content. So for this, again, to just to, uh, uh, for better appealing, I'll add two days and which I'll make this as the uh, flex. So pretty much standard item center, and uh, I'll make sure this will occupy as much space as needed. So that is why I'm giving it as a flex one and uh, if it's a medium screen i'll make so uh, this would be absolute and if it's a medium again i'll make uh, inset uh, y direction as zero that is top and bottom will be zero and uh, and if it's a medium again i'll make sure it's stick to the left part of the screen so that's what left is zero okay so that was the view and again for this little more styling i'll make again this as a flex item center in the justify content i'll make it as a between and a width fill so that it will take all uh, width of the screen and if it's a medium i'll make a width as auto fine so finally here we will add the link of the next link and uh, here i'll try to add the image and the title content so if user clicks on the image i'll make sure it will be redirected to the home section that is the thing it, uh, uh, states and here image tag I'll add so again for this I'll make give some styling so what styling is I'll make sure the height of it is 8 and also the margin top little margin top 1 and uh, with the sort to cursor if someone is pointing to it so I'll make sure the hand symbol is popping up there and the source is the readme dot svg so that source is coming from uh, this part I mean you see here we emitted a svg so it will directly refer to that folder so if we add this good so if we now see the output you can you'll be able to see the uh, uh, image right so that's and also you see the svg icon which we added in the first view that is what we are seeing here so next what we'll do is we'll add the title of our uh, application so title again i'll make take uh, some p tag and uh, style it like give some color or text gray or something a little darker text gray 800 and margin left uh, 2 that means there is little space between the image and the title and uh, margin bottom must in the reverse direction and the text size i'll make little medium and i'll add the title okay so now if you see the output 
okay fine uh, it is in the next line okay fine just the second did i miss something it should be next to each other so flex item center they should be next to each other okay okay fine so what we'll do is like i'll create one div here and uh, make this as a flex and uh, make this as item center so that uh, they will be in uh, same row okay okay fine they will be in the same row next to each other i think now this should work let's see okay let's check now yeah so they're next to each other okay so done uh, with the title and the uh, logo so next what we'll do is we'll have to add the the right side part that is a language selector uh, so the user will be able to select the language it supports so you can see the content translated to that respective language for that i'll create one div and give some uh, random uh, styling and relative make it is relative and uh, width as 28 and uh, make sure the items are in the center in the y direction and the flex as one so that it will take as much space it requires and if it's a medium scale i'll make sure it will be absolute and if it's a medium insert in the y direction make sure it has a zero and uh, if it's a medium right as zero so that it will be always on the right part of the screen and also the i length the index so that uh, vertically stacking uh, how many of our divs are there it will stand on top of all the divs okay so here uh, for now i will keep here something like you know it, it there we'll try to create one new component for now i'll keep it as a language okay so if you see the uh, output so this is where for now it will be language but later uh, i will create one component so that whenever a user is hovering on this uh, component they'll see the uh, list of the language that will be uh, supported and they can click on respective language so that the website will be converted to that language okay fine so that is the overall uh, the top part nav part of our home page right so we are done with the uh, i mean the nav part so next we'll go to the main content part so here again we'll i'll create the uh, div uh, i'll give standard styling margin top of 16 so that there will be space between the nav and the main content and uh, mx is auto so that it will line the center part of the screen and uh, max width as 7x so that it will not ex uh, exceed behind this uh, width and uh, padding x in the direction i'll make it as 4 and if it's a small i will make uh, the margin tab as little more 24 and again uh, if it's a small screen i'll make a padding x direction as you know little more 6 fine so here and again whatever the uh, content we write here make sure this will be in the center of the screen so that's why for this div and here now i'll add the h1 tag to uh, create the title and the uh, readme part to highlight that okay so standard styling so the since it is header h2 i'll make sure the text is as much as possible and also the letter spacing are tight i mean tracking tight and uh, font is again extra bold so that it look as elegant as possible and uh, text color i'll give it as a gray so that is let me make this as a darker and if it's a, a small screen i'll increase the font size to 5xl and again if it's a medium screen i'll increase text size to 6xl so that they'll look better depending on the size screens. fine and here i'll add one span it's pretty standard if you want some content to be added i'll create a span and uh, apply some styling on it and add that uh, content inside it okay so i'll make sure this will be blocked so that the title and the readme part will be displayed in the new lines okay so for now the title would be what the fastest way to create something like that fastest way to create a okay and in the next line i'll add the readme so that it will be highlighted okay 
so for this i'll give again this as a blob and uh, make it as a green color which would look quite good and uh, give all caps okay so now let's check the output okay fine so this is the first uh, span and this is the second span exactly the way we wanted fine so this was the uh, styling for the title and the readme part next we'll add the little description beneath the uh, the above content so we'll go for the p tag again pretty standard styling margin top has three so that will be between the above content and uh, max width will take medium and again max or uh, I mean margin access auto so that will line the center part of the screen and text as base and give some color for that gray lighter color this time and if it's a smaller screen i'll make this as a large text size and if it's a medium again margin top i'll make little more margin top as five and also if it's a medium i'll make a text as extra large and if it's a medium again i'll increase the maximum with that it can occupy in the screen to 3xl okay so here the description would be little uh, what we can do is like you know mm. we can write like our simple editor you know what it uh, basically does you know allows you to quickly add and customize all the sections okay you need for your readme projects readme whatever okay so now let's see that yeah so simple editor allows you to quickly add and customize all the sections you need for your projects readme fine so that was the some little description about our application so next uh, what we'll uh, add is the get started button which will redirect us to the editor page which uh, we'll build in the next video i guess mostly and also the 100% uh, free content okay that is what is pending in this uh, uh, the main section so what i'll do i will add uh, now i'll add that you know let's create again one more day last name i'll make this as a flex and uh, just for content i'll make it as a center and again margin top is little uh, six so that there will be space and add a span and make this as an inline flex and around corners as a round, I mean, little uh, curve and i'll add shadow so it will look good and add now the link tag and href as of now we don't have this uh, editor page but but for now we'll keep it as editor so that uh, uh, if some if we click on this get started uh, uh, link will be redirected to the editor page okay and styling uh, i will make this as an inline flex you know items as center in the x direction uh, i mean in the y direction okay and padding as x as 4 and padding in y direction will make it as a 2 and uh, we'll add some border and make it will be as a transparent so okay and text will i'll make it as a base and uh, font size i'll make little medium and also i'll make the corners as rounded as lg so it will be more curved okay and uh, finally i'll apply the text color and background color so text i'll make is as a green i mean let's add it as a 600 and the background i'll make it as a white and uh, if we hover on it we'll change the text color to something else so, i mean little more something like 500 something like this. okay so yeah that's a pretty much uh, the styling is needed for this and we'll add the content here get started okay so now let's see yeah so yeah on hovering color changes and there is a border and a shadow little shadow fine so that was the get started button and uh, finally what we'll do is like we'll add one more div which uh, says the 100 percent free content okay that is all we are uh, left adding 
so i'll add here a and I make uh, this text again will lie in the center part of the screen and add a p class and add some margin top 3 and uh, lie in the center i'll make text as small as possible and also and add some gray color to the text little thicker and okay so here i'll add the content 100 percent free so if i see here okay got it right 100 percent free so now we are done with that next what we'll do is we will add the the image section that is which describes the overall uh, uh, features of our uh, gist of our application so i'll make that as quick again create uh, one div and make this as a relative and here i'll add one div here this is uh, i'll make this as absolute and also insert as a zero in all directions make this as a flex and uh, in direction as column okay and here i'll add one empty div i'll let you know why i'm making this and i'll make sure it occupies as much space it needed and also here one more div this also i'll make sure it occupy as much as space it's needed and make width as full and give background color as some gray color and make this as little thicker then yeah 800 okay fine so this div here yeah, this is an actual screenshot of our application i'm add here i'll make sure this max width will not be exceeding behind the 7 excel and also make sure it lies in the center part of the screen padding x again 4 and if it's a, a small screen i'll make a padding little more like by 2 okay fine and here i'll add the image uh, tag last time again a little uh, style so rounded md in all the corners and also shadow i'll make it as a little more shadow lg and the source source is readme creator.png which is this one okay and uh, let's add some content here i have a screenshot okay so good i think if i show now yeah you see here there is image and there is uh, background color as a gray so that this is what so why this div is added in the uh, because we wanted the uh, half part of the uh, section that is being occupied by the image would be colored in the gray color so for that to accomplish this div is added so if i come in this and check now so you see the whole uh, image background I and mean, color is just white so that's the reason this since we made this as absolute it will take the half of the section of the uh, space required by the image so it looks better okay fine so you see yeah so now we're almost done with the uh, home page except that we should add some footer so i'll jump on to that uh, footer section and uh, add uh, the this standard pretty much stuff made with uh, love by so and so and I add my twitter link to that okay fine so i'll add one div here and class name i'll make this uh, max word as you know x seven excel standard as we added in the above section and uh, make sure it will occupy the center part of the screen and in padding y in x y direction i'll make it as 16 in padding x i'll add it as you know, 4 and if it's a uh, small screen i'll increase padding y direction a little more and similarly x also i'll increase a little more again if it's a larger screen i'll make this as the 8 okay fine now i'll add here h2 tag again uh, some styling for this i'll make sure this will be text centered and it will take lighter color gray color and i'll add here it as a 400 and uh, it will be smaller text and font uh, type i'll make a semi bold and tracking white so i mean length letter spacing okay fun so here i will add this made uh with uh love you know and the exact code for uh, the heart symbol is there so nine eight two five okay 
so and i'll add here by so if you see now okay you see maybe cloud by okay and in the next part i mean uh, here just beneath this i'll add anchor tag and uh, style it this class name is like if we have uh, you know text color will be changed to something green because i like green okay and uh, here for now i will add uh, it to redirect it to my portfolio i mean you can add the repository link of yours so whatsoever and uh, and i'll make sure it will open in the new screen i mean new tab okay so let's check now so okay i didn't add the content my bad so i'll add here my name okay now see okay little space i'll add little space here so that it will look good yes so if you hover and click on this it will be redacting the uh, the whatever the link you give it here so for now it is it will go to the the thing your website or something like that okay yeah and here i think it is slow that's why it's not it's taking time to open up fine so yeah so this is pretty much the uh, uh, home screen how it should look so and also uh, this in the next video onwards uh, i will uh, start with uh, creating this uh, language component and then i'll try to finish up the editor page that's pretty a uh, big page because we have a lot of features in this and we have to figure out how to write in you know, a hooks you know components and uh, i mean divide into components and properly uh, make the data is flowing across the component so that's pretty challenging but we will uh, finish it up okay so this is what we have built in this video the home section the nav part and the uh, year language component will come in the eventual uh, video and this uh, svg this for styling purpose and this is the main part and the added image and uh, the footer okay fine so that is it for this video thank you so much uh, please stay tuned for the uh, coming video thank you so much